Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and this is part two of two, and we're going over fire in Fire and Brilliance. And what does that actually mean? Again, Fire and Brilliance, all that is is a play on light to the naked eye. So when you're looking into the gemstone, you can explain what all the sparkles mean. We went over brilliance last week and how is that uh, in the relationship to the refractive index to brilliance. So if you haven't seen that already, that video is already available for you to watch. This is part two of the video and we're going over dispersion or fire and I'm gonna get right into it for you. <laughs> This is part two of two based on fire or dispersion. Now what is dispersion? It's very simple. Have you ever gone out on a rainy day or have you ever been uh, outdoors right below a waterfall and you see the rainbow that shines right through the water from a distance or from far away or even close up? That's basically dispersion taken into effect. All it is is white light passing through a medium such as water when you're seeing rainbow and it disperses white light into a bunch of colors that is fire uh, now what does that even all mean is like why has white light turns to fire and all these colors i mean what, what what does that mean right so all that means is this white light is a combination of all colors so when you see the colors of the rainbow all of that combined makes up white light yes that's that's the truth now and the reason being is because with white light, there are different wavelengths and every single wavelength is a specific color from reds to blues to greens to yellows. Okay, so it's the same when it comes to gemstones. Now for diamond before moissanite, um, it definitely has moderate fire. Uh, the way dispersion is measured, okay, the higher dispersion, uh, the dispersion measurement, the more fire it will have. And again, all that basically means is that when a gemstone, or when light actually, white light, passes through a gemstone, through the medium of a gemstone, how does that break up the white light and disperse all the fire, the reds, the blues, the greens, the purples, into and out, out of the uh, gemstone and into your eyes? Okay, uh, so the, for diamonds, the measurement of dispersion is 0.044, and according to the GIA booklet that I, uh, you know, again, I went to GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, I got all of this information on the back end of the booklet, the dispersion grade or measurement is 0.044 and is measured as moderate fire. Now, when it comes to moissanite, moissanite is known to have a lot of fire, and that's the reason why a lot of people like moissanite. And some people don't because they think it's too, um, I guess, sparkly or, or looks too much uh, as if it's mo too, too much of a disco ball effect. I've, seen, I've heard of that before, uh, but depending on the brand you buy as well. But without, uh, without getting too, uh, too much into that, moissanite is known to have a lot of fire. And therefore, the dispersion measurement is 0 0.104. Again, the higher the dispersion measurement, the more fire you will see. So in other words, when white light enters into moissanite, you will naturally see more reds, more blues, more greens, uh, and the works of the rainbow. Okay, so that's all it means, and the grade, according to the, G the back of the GIA pamphlet that I own, it is extreme fire. So let me wrap that up again. It's very simple. What is dispersion? Dispersion is a break out of white light into different wavelengths and each wavelength has a specific color and the colors that you see that enters the gemstone regardless if it's diamonds, moissanite or another gemstone that goes back into your eyes is called fire. And that's the breakdown and the wrap up of the meaning between fire and brilliance. All right, so if you haven't seen this bell, I think I've introduced this bell quite a few times. Uh, in the last couple of episodes, it's probably the fifth time, uh, there is a YouTube notification bell. Depending on where, which platform you're using, either on the desktop or the mobile version, might be at the bottom left, might be the top left, might be the top right. Uh, well, anyway, just find that notification bell. It looks similar to this. Obviously, it's not a 3D form. It's in 2D. Hit that. So anytime you get notified, or in other words, anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified, especially if you're subscribed to the channel. Okay. So if you really like what you saw there, uh, this is part two of two explaining fire and brilliance. 
in terms of how that plays into the naked eye when you're looking at gems and jewelry. Now, if there's a specific topic that you want us to go over, if there's a specific comparison video that you want to go over, we're receiving so many comments and suggestions. So definitely leave a comment below. Let us know what you want to see. We do add it to a list. Now, with that being said, we do put it uh, on a list, uh, depending on the popularity, depending on what people are asking for most, we will eventually make a video and it may be just a video just for you. So uh, leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you again. I'll see you next time.